that side in. Right, here we are on another job and this one's going to be a cracker. We've got granite sets going down and we're starting by altering all the wall, the front wall. So at the moment it's just wall right the way across but we're going to be making a pedestrian access gate central to the front door and then wider in the opening over there so we'll go in and have a little look. So on the main bit here we've got granite sets, making it wider, taking the tree down and then the way at the moment the way it's pumped up to the door, we're going to be reducing the level and then making a step up to where the porch is, new porch going in. Uh, we're still going to be keeping some lawn but that's just going to be on the far side, it's going to be like a planting area here and then will be coming down and linking up with the wall at the front so it's going to be a great one this so let's get started Right, we're back on the job since we we're here first. The wall's being built now and it's all dug out and stones up. So we've still got a little bit of prep before we actually start laying in this corner here. We've got a we've found the main drain, so we've got to put a gully in and tap into that. So that's the first job. And then over there we porch is being removed and we're rebuilding that slightly different. So we've salvaged some of the brick from the wall. That's going to be used to form the plint either side. So that's what we're getting on with today. And then once the stones all fully prepped, we'll be able to start setting out, putting our band course in and getting some sets down.
wanted to give Jacob, who's our apprentice, 18 years old, he's also my son, for those who don't know, some experience of lane sets and this pathway was an ideal opportunity to do that. So I set him up on it and gave him a few tips along the way. So let's see how we get on.
all in now and then i've put that side in which is in granite flags so we're going to replicate that on this side but before we move on to that we're going to get this corner done first this is switching back to sets so if you look at it you've got two panels either side with granite flags just in front of the bays and then here like i say switching back to set so i'm just going to put the band course around there get that done and then we're going to work our way down the drive and do this bit last because this is acting as like a cutting area which is handy so let's crack on with this Feathers in my hair and braids around my waist I'm almost a bird These mountain views and pink sunsets Got me shitting skin Bit of a miserable day today so we've got the faithful gazebo set up so on this we've got a step going in so we've got these lovely bull-nosed steps which will be forming the step here up to the door and then also we've got them we're going to use as a coping as well they're a little bit wide so what we're going to be doing 
is cutting them down and then forming our, our own bull nose to this edge. Then look really smart this and give a nice entrance to the house.
that area over there is nearly complete. Um, got the band course in around here. We've topped it up with type one and given it a really good compaction. So we're ready to tackle this area because we've worked our way over that and used this for mainly the cutting. Now that's basically finished. This is the home straight. So we've got the mitres cut for there. Jake's going to put them in and then we're going to be working our lines across off the band course right the way across and to the finish line. The sun's with us for a change, so let's go.
right to A where we've got the driveway coming in into the front it's on a taper because the road bends around so what potentially we could have is loads of slithers where the line tapers in it's because that line there represents the finish of the main body of the drive there's that's set up with a dark and a silver so that line there is where we want to cut to keep it parallel with the front of the drive so on this bit here where we've got this tapering in we would have like a thin slither there and we don't want with that would block it doesn't look particularly good and also it's a vulnerable spot where it can break especially with the cars driving on at the front so what we've done we've taken a few out and then we're gonna what we're gonna be doing instead of cutting to a slither we're gonna be turning block round putting it this way down so we avoid any three-sided cuts and that then on there we can go back to full block and they'll run through and that is called inboard cutting and it's the right way to finish when you've got a taper like this We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to live best because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is in.
so we've got this nice little olive tree to go in. Kev's just digging the hole now. Get through this and then we'll have the fun job of trying to get it in. Gravity's on our side though, isn't it? Oh yes, bro. Right at the bottom, see the strap. So we've got these absolutely stunning granite caps to go on these pillars and then also down here we've got these copings as well 40 mil with a little capillary groove as well so it's just going to finish this wall off lovely
now so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy what's down there so we've got two big dark grey ones with a perimeter of the silvers around mitered in the corners it's gonna look really nice inside the two areas in together let's get it done
edge of the lawn so this area where I'm standing is going to be grass so we're just using the same sets to form a border right around and then there's going to be like a little hedging planted so we've dug out and um, we're just putting in a mix at the bottom and then we're going to be bedding those on to just frame the lawn off nice Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where Ever I look, she's standing in the crowd I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. noticed on earlier videos we had these two flags missing which joined the two paths up together the reason for that is when we put a 600 flag in it was about 20 mil short of hitting this because this bay is slightly wider than the other side wasn't an issue on that side you have to take a little bit off those this one's a bit wider so we've had their order a 600 by 900 which is a longer flag and then cut it down to size because otherwise we would have been left with like a little tiny slither of flag there whereas this way you won't notice that this one's slightly bigger
Craig baby's back. Yes, lad. Fresh from his holidays. Sporting the nice brown bunch. Don't let me down 